Hello and welcome. I will show you how to create a PDF form document very quickly. It will have text fields, radio buttons and checkboxes and you will be able to fill them all out. You need to use a software that can do that. LibreOffice is free and you don't have to install it to use it. So if you don't have admin rights, you can use it. There is a portable versions page on their website. I'm just going to download it. It is 167 megabytes in size. Once the download is done, you can just double click it without admin rights, even though it's an exe file. Pick the language. Remove extra languages. Uh, yeah, I like that. And we're just going to keep the folder that it suggests. You can check out the details if you're interested. And here's a folder that contains all the applications. All right, once it's done, we can either run it here or go to finish and open the folder. And here is LibreOffice Writer. That's what we need. Double click that. And we are not going to need the tooltips and we're not going to need this information. OK, then just start writing your document and make sure to add formatting, for example, using font style or maybe using tables and format the tables if you use any, because we're going to add the fields inside of the tables and just where free text would be. So now that the document is ready for fields form menu. In here, we're going to start with text box and just click and drag a box that can be filled with text. Since we're going to have three of this kind, let's just edit this one. First, we're going to move it up here and now we're going to double click it. And now we have an interface that allows us to edit the details. I'm going to give us uh, the name first, your name. And I prefer not to use free deal look. I prefer flat. So let's just copy this with control C or copy and paste it over here. Just make sure to change the title. We're going to call this part design and this one we're going to call XR title. And here we're going to have options. We're going to have an option button here. Click and drag. All right. And this one again, I don't like 3D. So I'm going to set this to flat. This should not have a label in this case. And this one we're going to call understand. Let's zoom in a little so we can try to center this. I guess for this, we're going to have to actually change the text formatting here. So let's click away and select these fields and make sure they're centered. Entered. Same over here. And now we can copy this and paste it again. And here the important thing is that this field has the identical name as this field. And then if we paste them in here, this one we're going to rename to complete and then again copy and paste. And this one is also called complete. Paste again. This one we're going to call moral copy and paste. You can also have them vertically aligned in the format menu align center. And here we're going to put checkboxes. So let's go to form checkbox and draw a box flat. Not going to have a label discomfort. And this one is called emotion and this one is going to be called regret. All right, finally, we're going to add a text field here. Let's copy one from here. Oh, here we go. Zoom out. I'm just going to resize this a little. Because this is a multi line field, but we have to double click and edit that fact. So let's see, it's set to single line usually, but we're going to go to multi line without formatting. Notes and close it. Now all we have to do is export this. I guess I'm going to add a little bit of formatting here. Okay, so what we're going to do is export this as a PDF. Pick a name, form doc, for example, and save it. Here's the document. And if we open it, for example, in Chrome, we can now fill it out. And because these are called the same, we can switch between them and they automatically disable the other of the same name. So that's very handy. And these ones can be turned on and off individually. And let's see if we put a lot of text in here. It does wrap. Fantastic. Now, this doesn't get saved. We have to actually print it. If we just download it, that won't work. We will have to print it so that it keeps the filled out form. Just make sure to mark it in the file name filled or something like that. Now we cannot fill this anymore. That cannot be edited anymore. And this is all you had to do. Basically download a tool that lets you create such a form and export it as a PDF and you can edit it. Give this video a like if it helped. Subscribe to this channel if you think you could use some more tricks in the future. And I will see you in the next video. Until then, ciao!